By default, WooCommerce won't allow you to hide shipping methods based on shipping classes. And therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add shipping classes and how to hide some of the shipping methods based on those classes. For example, I added a local pickup only shipping class. And if the cart contains product with this shipping class, all other shipping methods are hidden. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to delete this one here. And as you see, all other shipping methods are available right now. The product itself has a local pickup only shipping class. And if I add it to the cart and view the cart itself, as you see, all other methods are hidden. And there is a conditional message here that explains why only local pickup is available. And there is a shown shipping class here. And this works also on the checkout page. As you see, there is a conditional message here and shipping class here. It's very easy to accomplish, so if you're interested, then jump in, because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. And we're going to start by adding a plugin. Pay attention, though, that it's optional if you're using a child team and you're comfortable with modifying your function's PHP file, then you don't have to do that. All the code snippets I'm going to provide you, just add them to your function's PHP file. Also take a look at the description of this video because there is a link to the code snippets I'm going to show you today. I don't like modifying functions PHP file because if I switch teams, I'm going to lose all the modifications and therefore I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and I'm going to search for code snippets plugin. This one here. Install and activate it and after that you'll see snippets menu here. I'm going to leave it as it is right now. I'm going to use it later because now I'm going to go to the WooCommerce settings and I'm going to add a shipping class. For example, I have already a local pickup only here. I'm going to add another shipping class. And this is courier only. Nothing else to configure. I'm going to save the shipping class. Now I'm going to go to the products. I'm going to find the product that I need to be sent only with a courier. For example, this home edit berry beans product, I'm going to select shipping class courier only. Let's update view the product. I'm going to clear the cart and I'm going to add this one to the cart. Now let's see the cart itself. As you see, courier local pickup, all the shipping methods are visible. And therefore, I'm going to hack it a bit and I'm going to hide the local pickup if this product is in a cart. And in order to do so, now I'm going to go to the snippets and I'm going to add a new snippet here. I'm going to give it a title, for example, hide shipping method for a specific shipping class. And I'm going to paste this code snippet here. Once again, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the snippets I'm going to show you today. I'm going to run it only site front end. And before I activate it, one more thing for me to do. I have to change this shipping class name here. And it is a shipping class slug. Where do you get the shipping class slug? Just go to the shipping, shipping classes. And this one here, I'm going to copy courier only. And I'm going to paste it here. Next one, this line here contains the shipping method name. And it's a name of the shipping method I would like to hide. How do you get the shipping method names? Just go to the cart page, right click on the shipping name, click on inspect. If that doesn't work, then select the shipping method here. And now take a look at this part here. You have to copy this one here and paste it here. Local pickup two. Now let's save changes and activate. Let's close it down and let's refresh it. As you see, nothing happened after the refresh. Therefore, we have to refresh the cart itself. I'm going to change the quantity up here. And there you go. It's gone. Now I have a free shipping. As you see, there it is. Therefore, I have to hide the free shipping also. In order to do so, I'm going to take the same function. I'm going to paste it here, but I have to change the function name. This one is for free shipping. This one is for local pickup. 
So I'm going to change the function name, height, flat rate, for example. And I have to paste this one also here. So local pickup is hidden. Now we have to hide the free shipping. Therefore, I'm going to inspect it one more time. This is a free shipping six here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to hide the free shipping method and a local pickup. Save changes. Refresh. Nothing happened. But if I change the quantities that clears the WooCommerce cache, then it's there. And this way you can hide all sorts of shipping methods as you like using the shipping class. There are a couple of more tweaks I would like to do because maybe my customer won't understand why there is only a courier and nothing else to choose from. Therefore, I'm going to add a couple of more snippets and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So go to snippets, add new, give it the title, for example, display shipping class in cart and checkout and paste this snippet here. Only one thing for you to configure and this part here, if you would like to change the label shipping for anything else, then just do it here. If you don't like that it's shown as a bold text, then remove those strong glasses here. Once again, only run on site front and save changes and activate. Let's refresh. And as you see, there is a shipping courier only, and it is shown only for the products with this shipping class. Let's take a look. I'm going to add this product to the cart. I'm going to view the cart. As you see, this one doesn't have the shipping class shown here. And one last thing for me to do, I'm going to add another snippet, give it the title, for example, display message in cart and check out for the chosen shipping class and paste this snippet here. And now once again, here goes the shipping class slug. I mean, this one here, courier only. That means that this message is shown only if the cart or checkout contains a product with a courier only shipping class. Now only run on site front end, save changes and activate, refresh. And there you go. This message is shown here. And if you would like to change the message, then change this part. If you don't like it to be shown as bold text, then don't use this strong classes here. If you would like to change this Nota Bene text, this one here, then just remove it or replace it with the text you need. And one more thing, I decided that it is shown here and on the checkout page it is shown here. Why did I choose this place? It's because it's near the shipping totals. It's easy to find. But I can change the message position by changing the hook I'm using. For example, I'm going to choose this hook here. And for the checkout page, I'm going to change this one here, save changes, refresh. And as you see, it is shown here. Where can you find the WooCommerce hooks? Well, if you're using the Bloxy team that I use, then Bloxy Pro version has the visual hooks here. If you're using any other team, then that means we have to search our Business Bloomer Hooks cart page. As you see, there is a cart page and there is a checkout page. Just choose the position you would like to use. Change it accordingly and you're good to go. Although I think that the position I used previously is much better. Therefore, I'm going to change it back. Refresh. And there it is. And as you saw, with a couple of clicks, we made it work in a way that if your cart contains product with a specific shipping class, then some shipping methods are hidden. And if I delete the product with this shipping cart, all others are visible. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.